I got a chance to watch the Browns some at uh, the organized team activities. All right, Najoku. I got it, fans. I keep messing up his name. David Najoku. I got that. He's a tight end. By the way, the kid from Miami University looked very good catching passes. And I also finally got his pronunciation right. I'm glad he's good enough already that I have to learn how to say his name correctly. So that's a, that's a very good sign. Uh, a couple other things I saw that... Uh, uh, training camp. One thing that it's bothered me for a while about the Browns, and it still does, you know, they just they need receivers. Now, Kenny Britt, the free agent that they signed, was not playing when I was there uh, last week because of a minor injury, and he does have some size. He's like 6'3". But the rest of these wide receivers, I mean, you know, Corey Coleman is quick, but he's small. And these other guys, Ronald Hall, and it just, uh, it, Ricardo Lewis has got some size, but just looks so raw. Uh, I like Richard Higgins, but he's thin. To me, they're still missing another receiver. Now, the tight ends could end up being very important in this offense. David Njoku being the top one, but also Seth Devolve, who they drafted last year out of Princeton. Big target. Both of these guys are like 6'5", good hands, catch the ball. They have another tight end, Randall Telfair, to block. In fact, the reason they let Gary Barnage, a veteran, go is they wanted to open the door for those three rookies at tight end, Njoku and uh, Devolve and also uh, Randall Telfair. Interesting. Now, this is something I saw and I liked, and they started to do it some last year. They threw a lot of passes to running backs. Remember, these are, quote, organized team activities, OTA. So no tackling and all that. So it's hard to tell what's going on in the line. But this kid, Matthew Day, seventh-round pick, second-last pick in the draft, number 252, 252, 253 is the last guy pick from uh, North Carolina State. He caught two long passes, one from Osweiler and one from uh, Deshaun Kaiser. And that's impressed me. I remember... Um, Days told me when they brought him in right after he was drafted, he said, you know, I really believe I'm the best pass-catching running back in this draft. And he also gained 1,100 yards rushing. He could be a guy, I'm not saying he's going to be great, but he could be a guy that could help. Isaiah Correll looked good catching passes. Duke Johnson we know is a good receiver. So I'm, my sense is that Browns are probably going to try to make up for maybe this lack of depth at wide receivers by throwing balls to more to the tight ends running backs. I know, quarterbacks. What about quarterbacks? What about quarterbacks? Browns? quarterbacks, quarterbacks, and the Browns. Um, Cody Kessler came out first. Uh, he didn't throw a lot of long balls, a lot of medium and short passes, which is probably what it's going to be during the regular season. A lot of discussion on whether his arm is stronger than it used to be or not. It looked a little bit to me, but truthfully, I couldn't tell. Uh, they weren't doing that. You know, having him air it out, throw downfield. Remember, this is one practice open to the media. They have some others that are close, so we're really only getting just a glimpse of what's going on. Brock Osweiler made some nice long throws. He also threw a ball into double coverage. It got picked off. Uh, then had to stand in front of the media and explain himself and caught all kinds of heat because he was asked why he thought he should be a starting quarterback, and he said, look at the film from the last two years. And Of course, all the Houston people say, yeah, look at that film. It's a horror movie and all that. But his point was from the last two years, and as I wrote, there's two sets of film on Osweiler. There's a film in 2015 at Denver that not only made Houston want to pay this guy $18 million a year, but John Elway offered him $15 million a year to stay in Denver from that film in 2015. And then there's the awful film from 2016 that made him where he's like a pariah. Nobody wanted him. So probably somewhere in the middle is where Osweiler is, but at least to me, I'll say this, he looks like a quarterback. He's six foot seven. He's a big guy. Finally, Deshaun Kaiser, six foot four, two twenty, a strong arm. Good throws, bad throws, trying to learn what it's like to take a snap under center. He never even worked out of a huddle. In fact, how about this? Snap calls basically at Notre Dame or one, two, three, hut or hut, hut, just real quick. They didn't even do the, if you watch the in the NFL, they do a lot of uh, staggered snap counts. They're slow. They call out things trying to draw the defense off size. He's got to learn so much. And I'm just going to. There's some of my people, friends in the media and some fans, they want to get him in there right away. If you want to see him fail, put him in there right away. It's almost like you've got this kid. He's a really promising science student. And he's in his sophomore year in college. And you go, this kid's got the makings of a doctor. Let's just go right to the final year of medical school 
and go directly to his internship at a hospital. Let's just skip all this stuff in between because he's going to be a doctor sooner or later and he's got the makings of it. Well, it's the same thing if you take a guy from Notre Dame who had an up and down last season, who never worked out of a huddle, never took snaps from center, and you know had some confidence issues and say, well, sooner or later he's going to be the quarterback. Let's just throw him in there and see how he's going to do. Um, I wouldn't want that kid from Cleveland State operating on me and frankly, I wouldn't want Kaiser on opening day operating in the huddle or under center. He's not ready. And if you wait a little while, maybe he will be. So that's kind of some thoughts from OTA. I'll get a little bit of quarterback talk. I know we all want to hear it. But really, to me, a big glaring need is a lack of a, a big-time physical receiver.